Like, you hear bullets going, just whizzing past your head. Just, and just after a while, you're just like, ah, oh, man, then eventually one's gonna get me. Put this in the gun camera. Three zero four five. Out here, we play a pretty big role. Usually, when the troops get in contacts, the mortars are there. One zero five. They call us in to provide indirect fires on enemy locations to either destroy or disrupt them. I like dropping around. So just the explosion and knowing that most of the time I hit the enemy. Um, it's awesome to fire. It's charge four. Uh, it's just a thrill. You know, you drop explosives, and the enemy stops firing after you drop your rounds. Uh, it's just a great feeling. All rounds complete. Uh, during uh, Operation Strong Eagle, we were walking through the Gaki Valley, and our group took contact. We were taking RPGs, uh, AK and PKM. The PL that I saved. Uh, said as I was running here, you could see was bullets bouncing around my feet and around my head on the mountainside. I really wasn't paying attention to it, but um, it was pretty effective fire. It was pretty close. It was ricocheting off the vehicles and off the ground. You could hear it whizzing by your head. I don't know. I just remember running and picking him up, and I don't even think about the bullets. We all did what we had to do, and most people back home wouldn't understand why we do it, but... I mean, we did it to save each other, to save a friend, um, a colleague, anything. I mean, you just, you react to something and you just do what you have to do to make sure everybody gets back home, back to base. And I mean, sometimes you have to put yourself in danger to help some others out. And I think we all understand that. Especially Joshua Wood, Bravo Company, 2nd to 327. 101st Airborne Division, and I'm a member of the club.